Earlier this week, we had the total solar eclipse come visit us here in the Pacific Northwest, which was reassuringly on schedule. I think I spent less time watching the eclipse and more time watching people reacting to it. Very cool to see people universally excited about something. Usually I'm at our ADX office by now, though being home this morning inspired me to take a look at one of the aluminum parts for the Wintergarten Marble Machine X project. They make it on our venerable Pro 4848 right here in my home shop. I'll be making custom flanges that reinforce this connecting rod main bearing interface. I'll isolate this part from the rest of the assembly to find the tool paths, including the countersinks, and create a tool path array so I can fill out the 11 inch by 11 inch aluminum sheet I have. This is a very limited run, so I'll simply use some double sided foam tape to secure the plate and retain the completed parts instead of creating a custom jig. I'll start with the program to create the fastener countersinks and clearance holes. I'll be able to do this in one combined drilling operation using a number 4 center boring countersink tool. I'll use our touch plate to calibrate the z-axis, having already calibrated the x and y work offsets, and engage. Since these are M3 fasteners, the countersinks are pretty small. Next I'll change over to a quarter inch flat end mill and machine the pockets and contours to finish the parts. And recalibrate the z-axis once again using our touch plate. I enjoy the symphony of sound and patterns that come from a project with repetitive operations. It's great to be able to tell just by ear what operation the machine is on and how well the cutter is removing material. This is always my favorite part. I get to pick out the fruits of my, well, the machine's labor. Though I'm a very important member of this duo. There's something innately satisfying about making a batch of identical parts, and the knowledge you can always make more. These look great. I'll clean them up a bit to give the top and bottom faces a uniform finish, and let's check some dimensions and see what we've made and how well we've made it. The outside diameter reads 62 millimeters. Well, that's good. And the inside diameter measures 33 millimeters. That's great. And I'll check the others. I'm also curious to see if the countersinks are at the right depth, so I'll bolt these plates together and see if the fastener heads are flush with the plate. Perfect. Just right. I think these are ready for a plane ride to Sweden. This went well. It's still morning and I have a bunch of finished plates with spares. And let's face it, a mistake-free project is a great way to start the day.